Okay, this is just going to be a quick video to show you how to upgrade the firmware on the Zorro DTV M5 Irish Digital TV receiver. Um, the latest firmware, which can be found under the Downloads tab on the DTV M5 product page, um, will enable um, the old type teletext service uh, and also it'll um, add in a feature which will be very handy for certain people that you'll be able to record subtitles okay um, I'm just so the first thing you do anyway after you've downloaded the the file from the website and um, just unzip it and then copy it to a memory stick and you can then put your memory stick in the front of the receiver which I'm doing now and you can see there has found storage device okay so the first thing I'm going to do this as if basically you were doing this from scratch um, you know, you open the box, you plugged it in, and you just want to do this before you start off. So I'm just going to do it from that point. So at this stage, anyway, that what you see there will be on the screen. So you hit the exit button, and you'll see database empty. What that basically means is there's no channels on the box. You haven't run your first scan yet. Um, it doesn't matter when you do this, but this is just for um, demonstration purposes. Okay. So the next thing you'll do is you'll hit the menu button. Okay. And what you'll do is you'll arrow down to setting. Then you will hit the right arrow key and you will go to upgrade. Okay, and then you'll hit the enter button. So we want to do a USB upgrade. By the way, just in case, because I have been playing with this here, um, it may ask you for a password and the password is just four zeros um, if it does ask you. If it doesn't, you can just fire away. Okay, so USB upgrade. So I'm going to click the enter button. So it's found the memory stick I've plugged in the front. So I'm just going to select that using the enter button and you can see there I have a file called rom.bin. So I'm just going to hit the enter button and it's a fairly quick process It's uh, once it starts off and you can just see that now um, going through. So it's currently just erasing the old firmware and once it's finished that then it'll load the new, the new one onto it. Um, this is very easy and as I say you can do this from any point. Uh, you know even if you have the channel scanned in the one thing I would say though is if you do have the channels already scanned in and you do load the firmware um, you're probably best to just scan them in again um, but it, you know you'll see from our other videos it, that's a fairly quick process too so it's just going through there now it's almost halfway through The reason we decided to have this add-on is although the new teletext, the digital teletext service is actually brilliant um, and this receiver can get it, some people might like the older one uh, for now and also um, while we were doing that we got the, the lads that were coding the firmware to make sure that the subtitles were um, able to be recorded. We'd been asked this umpteen times by people in the um, the deaf community or maybe someone that's hearing impaired um, you know are there boxes that can do this and from our tests we haven't really found any that can do it except the Humax uh, Freesat um, receiver but that only gets the UK channels um, so just from an Irish channel's point of view or a Serview channel's point of view and um, we decided to make sure this worked and that we'd be able to point people at it. It seems to work fairly well. Um, we have another video there if you check it out uh, you'll see uh, you'll see us demonstrating how it does work and you know it does what it says in the tin more or less anyway so um, you can see there now it's almost finished it's up, nearly getting up to the 90% and um, once it finishes updating the flash it'll actually uh, reboot the box and um, it'll come back probably to the, well it will in this case anyway, it'll come back to the same menu that I had before, the installation menu where it's going to ask me to scan in the channels. So scanning in the channels is fairly easy and there's another video showing you how to do that but I mean if you do it from the if you do it from the initial default screen when you plug in the box it's pretty much a matter of just going OK and it just does it and it takes maybe a minute or something like that. So you can see there now it's finished the firmware upgrade and it's just rebooting the box. So we'll just see what it comes back with then. And there you go. We're back to square one then to scan into channels. So just if it does come back like that, I'll just show you all the things are right by default. You just arrow down to start search and press enter and Bob's your uncle. Okay, so that's it. So.